my channel. My name is Caitlin if you're new here and I am a wife and a mom of a two and a half year old little girl. We live outside of Phoenix, Arizona and I post three new videos to my channel every week. So if you are new here, I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. So make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. In today's video, I'm going to be talking all things potty training. I'm going to explain how our daughter actually potty trained herself utilizing the child led potty training method. I'm going to talk all about that method and I'm also going to be sharing our experience along with tips and tricks. I'm going to share what worked, what didn't work, what we did wrong, what we did right. I also want to be completely clear. This is not a video explaining how to potty train your child in four days or how to potty train your child fast. This is simply a more natural approach in my opinion. And it also just goes with the pace of the child. It doesn't force potty training onto the child. So I hope you guys stick around and hear what I have to say. And hopefully this helps anybody else who is struggling with potty training or going to begin potty training your child, I hope this video brings you some kind of encouragement. I have been sharing a lot of information and a lot of our real life experiences of potty training throughout my vlogs. I do daily vlogs a lot if you're new here and so if you guys want to go see some of those situations we've been put in or um, just a little bit more in depth of how we've been potty training, I suggest going back and watching those videos and seeing us in action during potty training. Uh, I will link a few down below too in case you guys want to check those out, but this has been a long process. This has been a long time coming. I'm proud to say my daughter is now completely potty trained at two years and seven months. Um, we have been potty training for well over a year and I'm going to explain why here in just a bit, but she is now completely out of pull-ups or diapers and we're also potty trained for the most part overnight as well. <laughs> on child-led potty training in the beginning of this video and so let me just go into detail and explain kind of what that is. This is actually a method of potty training that I was practicing but I didn't even realize that our family was practicing. It kind of just came natural to us and then once I started reading about it I was like this is exactly what I've been doing. This puts everything I've been doing into words and something I'm able to uh, kind of explain a little bit better to you guys but basically child-led potty training is exactly what it says. This method allows the child to really decide when they are ready to start going potty and not letting the adult decide. So there's two different things. There's child-led potty training, there's adult-led potty training. A lot of times people want to potty train their child in four days or three days or something like that and it just isn't right for the child and so that creates a lot of frustration in the home, that creates a lot of disappointment in the home and it just creates negative energy stemmed around potty training and I want to be able to share this approach with you guys to let you know it doesn't have to be like that, it doesn't have to be frustrating. Um, of course you're going to be frustrated at times, I don't want to completely discount that, but all in all this has been a very easy transition for us and for my daughter. Now keep in mind this process can be a very long process. We have been potty training for well over a year. One of my favorite podcasts to listen to is by Janet Lansbury. She has a ton of really helpful information in my opinion. She has great parenting advice on discipline, um, potty training, child development, all of that kind of stuff. But anyways, I was reading an article she wrote and I will link that down below too in case you guys want to check that out. But basically she gets asked lots of questions on how do you potty train your child? What is the right way to do that? And her response is, you don't. You don't potty train your child. You aren't the one to decide when your child's ready to be potty trained. That is strictly something that the child is going to have to be ready for emotionally, cognitively, uh, physically. Janet Lansbury basically states that it's pretty unnecessary for a caregiver or a parent to potty train a child because all children are different. Um, everybody's going to go at their own pace. Some children are going to be potty trained at 15 months. Some aren't going to be potty trained until they're four. It really just depends on those three factors. So I'm sure a lot of you are already confused when I'm saying it's unnecessary to potty train your child. And let me just explain what you can do as a parent to help set them up for success during this big change in their life. There's a lot of things we can do as parents to help guide them and a lot of things that I did that really did help set us up for such a successful potty training when Scarlett was ready. <laughs> of advice is to introduce the potty to your child at a very young age. So Scarlett was probably 15, 16 months or so when we bought our first potty and I'm going to link the potties that we use down below in the description box so you can head down there if you want to see what we use. But we have this summer potty. It's a portable potty. It looks just like a normal potty and that is what we started using. I just put it out in eyesight. I introduced it to her. I talked to her about 
what you do in the potty and she was little she didn't quite understand but it's just the familiarizing of the potty that is all you want to do is just get them familiarized think of it this way if you see something every single day you're gonna catch on eventually. But if you don't have a potty out, if you don't have them familiarized with something, it's gonna be scary when you first start to potty train. Get them interested in the potty. Take some stickers, put stickers on the potty. Make it fun, make it encouraging, and just let them explore it. So the next thing we can do as parents to set our child up for success during this child-led potty training experience, then this might sound gross, but that is to take them in the bathroom with you. Explain what you're doing, show them what you're doing, be extremely verbal, be descriptive. This might be a little uncomfortable for some people, but this truly works in my opinion. Show them how you pull down your pants, show them how you sit on the potty. When you're actually using the bathroom, have them listen, have them use their senses. Can they smell something? Can they hear something? What are you doing on the potty? You can say things like, Scarlett, did you hear that? Did you hear mommy just put peepees in the potty? Um, you can get real weird and let them actually see what's in the potty. Um, whatever you feel comfortable with, all of that is going to help. If you have a little boy, send them in the bathroom with their dad, let dad show them, whatever. With my experience, I would take my daughter Scarlett into the bathroom with me, I would show her what I'm doing. Once I used the restroom, I would show her what was in the toilet. Again, this might be TMI, but it helps. And I would have her help me flush the toilet. It was that simple. This consistency over days and weeks and months I really think helped us in the end. But children and toddlers especially, they learn by repetition, they learn by uh, leading by example, by others leading by example. That is how they really retain information. And so doing this is really gonna help your child get familiarized even more with the potty process. So the next thing we can do as parents, and I kind of touched on this earlier, but be extremely verbal about the restrooms and potties and just make them comfortable. Whenever we are out in public and we walk by a restroom or a potty, I would always talk to Scarlett, even before she was potty trained, I would always talk to her and say, Scarlett, that's the bathroom. If you ever have to go potty when you're a big girl and you wear undies, that's where you go potty. And so she caught on and whenever we would go somewhere, she would say, does Trader Joe's have potties? Does Target have potties? And I'd say, yes, Scarlett, they have potties. So she was starting to catch on and understand that there were potties other places than just at our home or at grandma's house or something like that. I think the other strong piece of advice that goes with the being verbal is to always be encouraging and to never make them feel ashamed for having an accident or going in their diaper or something like that. You never want to hurt their self-esteem. Believe it or not, these little two-year-old children, they're building their self-esteem. This is a critical time in their life where you are building their confidence and you want them to feel confident about using the potty and feel confident about this new change in their life. So there would be plenty of times when Scarlett would run to the curtains and she would poop and I knew what she was doing and she had a diaper on but I knew exactly what she was doing and I knew how easy it would be just to go sit on the potty and have her go in the bathroom because I knew she had to go but she wasn't ready and you have to just let them learn on their own. So for example after she would poop in the curtains uh, I would bring her over, change her, and I would talk to her about it. I would say something like, Scarlett, it looks like you really had to go potty. Do you think next time maybe we could try to put these poo-poos in the potty? Um, but I would just talk to her about it. I wouldn't make her feel bad about what she was doing, but I would definitely encourage her to do the right thing next time. While you're doing this in the moment, it might not seem like things are registering with your child or they aren't necessarily catching on, but trust me, they are. <laughs> do as parents during this child-led potty training is to absolutely not rush it. This is a marathon, not a sprint. We will all be potty trained eventually. Each child is different. Each child develops differently. There is no rush. I can't stress that enough. There is absolutely no rush. People like to put pressure on you. Outside influences like to get their two cents about your child and whether or not they should be potty trained, but you can't listen to them. You are the parent. You know your child. You know when they're ready. Potty training can be discouraging. You can have setbacks. They can do really good one week and really bad the next week. You can't get discouraged, you can't get frustrated, you can't get mad, you can't show anger, you can't make them feel like they did something wrong because that is going to push them back even more. If you're frustrated that your child is not interested in the potty, if you're frustrated that they're not interested in wearing underwear, we've been there. Scarlett's been the same way. You just gotta give it time. You just gotta be patient and give it time. There was a good 
m couple of months where Scarlett refused undies. She wanted to wear diapers. She wanted to keep them on. She wanted to poop in her diapers. That's just how it was and we just went with it. She wasn't ready. I couldn't force it on her. So we just went with it. If your child has an accident, you can say things like, oh my goodness, Scarlett, it looks like you've really had to go potty. Do you think next time we can maybe make it to the bathroom and put our peepees in the potty? Questions like that. Get their brains thinking, get them involved in the process. The fifth and final thing that we can do as parents to set our child up for success during this child-led potty training period is to encourage, encourage, encourage. You wanna make this but overall a good experience for your child. If you guys have watched me for a while, you know back when we started potty training last year, uh, I strictly said we don't want to use any kind of um, like reward system, nothing like that. We want it to stay natural. We want this to be a very easy process and we don't want her to feel like she gets rewarded for doing something that is so natural. However, I also said that if something didn't work, we would try something else. And unfortunately, that only worked to an extent. Um, in the end, we ended up using a positive reinforcement and Ideally, I wouldn't have liked to do that, but that's what we had to do, and it worked. So what ended up happening is um, my daughter was great at going number one in the potty. No issues with that, but it was number two we were struggling with. Kind of talked about it earlier. She liked to go in her diaper. She preferred it. I don't know why, but she did. So we made my husband a treasure chest um, gift for Father's Day. Uh, if you guys watch my channel, you probably know what I'm talking about, but we ended up taking that and using that as a reward system. And we put treasure or um, her favorite candy inside of this treasure chest. And every time she would go number two, she would get to pick something out of the treasure chest. Worked great. Did I really want to give her a sugary treat after she used the potty? No, I didn't, but I did and it worked. Um, you could also use stickers. You could get little tiny cheap toys. I don't know, whatever you feel comfortable doing, go for it. I just want to say that Preferably, that's not what I wanted to do. Realistically, that's what we did, and that's what worked for us. The initial thought of using a reward system like that is if I give her a reward every time she goes potty, then she's gonna expect something every single time. But that wasn't the case for us. She actually caught on. We stopped uh, offering the treasure chest, and we no longer do it. She kind of forgot about it, to be honest. So she doesn't expect anything when she goes potty anymore. So that's a lot of information. I'm gonna share a few things next that I feel like we personally did right as parents when it comes to this approach. Um, and then I'm gonna talk about some things that we probably didn't do right. So overall this past year, for the most part, we were extremely patient with her. We gave her options to wear undies or diapers. We never forced one or the other. She got to choose if she wanted to wear a diaper, we would give her a diaper. If she wanted to wear undies, she would wear undies. We tried to offer this as much as possible. We were extremely verbal about the potty training process. We talked about it constantly. We were very open when it came to modeling toilet use. We tried to be as observant as possible. We tried to look for her physical, cognitive, and emotional cues that she was ready to be potty trained. Typically, um, the emotional cues come last. That is typically something that, that people get stuck on. That's kind of that uh, big jump from wearing diapers to undies, and that can be kind of the hardest transition. But we really just waited till she was ready. And one day she woke up, honest to God, she woke up and she said, I wanna wear undies today. And that was it, we never turned back. And last but not least, we trusted her. Uh, we gave her trust, we looked for the cues that she was ready, and when she was ready, we ran with it. Uh, we gave her the tools she needed to be successful, and we let her apply those tools when she was ready. So let's talk some things now that we might have done the wrong way as far as potty training goes, um, or that I wish I could have changed looking back. But this is all a learning experience, so it's not wrong. It was definitely just something to learn. I would say the number one thing I did incorrectly was go to YouTube, type in how to potty train your toddler, watch people's videos of them saying they potty train their toddler in four days or three days or 24 hours or whatever, and then trying to implement that myself. If you guys potty trained your child that way and that method worked for you, great. I am so happy, that's amazing. But it's not gonna work for every child and it would definitely not work for my child. My child has to be ready, 100%. She's extremely stubborn. This has to be her decision, her idea. My daughter needed to be completely in charge of this new milestone and this new change in her life. I felt the pressure to get my child potty trained fast because 
it seemed like everybody else did too. We were very successful with potty training when she was younger. We would just let her run around our house naked and she would run to the potty. She would use the potty um, for number one. She wouldn't really go number two, but she was very successful. She wouldn't have accidents. Um, it went great. However, the second we put a pull-up or diaper on her or undies, she would go. And that to me was a cue that she was not ready. She was not ready to be potty trained uh, physically. Um, she might have not been quite developmentally there to recognize that. And I wish I would have recognized those cues back then and not pushed it so much. I just definitely had a different mindset back then. Um, we also tried using a potty watch if you have not heard of those. They're basically a watch you put on your child and it alerts them every 15, 30, um, 45 minutes, I don't know, um, but it will play music and it will alert them to go use the bathroom. This was a huge fail, huge fail, did not work for us. I know people it did work for, but it did not work for us. My daughter, along with lots of other toddlers, she doesn't want to be told what to do. She doesn't want a watch telling her when to use the bathroom. And I wish I would have just realized that she's smart, when she's ready, she will know. So now let's talk how it finally happened. About two weeks ago, she woke up and I kid you not, she woke up and she said, I want to wear undies today. And I said, okay, let's put some on. Didn't think twice about it. Figured she'd be taking them off here soon because she's never really been that interested. Um, we've gotten the fun undies. We've gotten ones with Paw Patrol characters and princesses on it. She just never really cared. It was never that exciting to her. Anyways, we had her gymnastics class that morning. And like any other day, I said, okay, Scarlett, let's get your pull-up on. Let's get ready for gymnastics. And she said, no, I want to wear undies today. And for a second, I was like, no way. There's no way you're going to be able to do that. You're not potty trained. We're going to have an accident. Your class is going to be messed up. Like, there's no way. Those are the thoughts crossing my mind. That was the, the doubt that I was having. And quickly, I turned those thoughts off and I said, okay, you know what? This is it. If you want to wear undies, I'm going to trust you. You can wear undies. And so I told her, I said, okay, Scarlett, you can wear undies to gymnastics. But this is what's going to happen if you have an accident. This is what's going to happen if you go potty while you're at gymnastics and your undies. We'll have to leave the class. We'll have to go. We'll have to go change. Um, so that's what's going to happen. So she said, okay. She understood. So we got to gymnastics. The very first thing I did when we walked into her class was show her where the potties were. Um, I took her in the bathroom. I showed her the stalls. I showed her the potties. And I said, if you need to go potty, this is where we can go potty. So she said, okay. She had her gymnastics class. She did great. She was fine. She was the bathroom there. No issues at all. So fast forward to nap time. I'm thinking, okay, this is great. She's getting potty trained during the day, but we're for sure gonna need to wear a pull up for nap time. So again, I did the same thing. I said, okay, Scarlett, you can wear your undies after nap time. Let's put your pull up on. It's time to go take a nap. My child being as determined as she is said, no, I wanna wear undies. And so of course, I trusted her, we went with it. I talked to her about what would happen if she went pee pee in her undies. And um, I actually was vlogging that day, so a lot of you guys might have seen this, but she did great. She woke up, she was dry, she used the bathroom, and she just blew me away by how amazing she was when she decided she was ready. Needless to say, she's never had an accident out in public. I will say for the past six nights now, she has been completely dry overnight, and that is because we started implementing a few new things. We've started cutting out liquids, and that is probably like the number one piece of advice I can give if you're trying to potty train your child overnight or for nap times. We cut out liquids an hour before nap time, and then we cut out liquids two to two and a half hours prior to bedtime. So that definitely helps. Uh, it didn't solve the problem at bedtime. So the other thing we started doing at bedtime is implementing a dream pee is what somebody on Instagram told me is what it was called. It was actually something we were implementing. I just didn't have a name put to it. But when she was a newborn, an infant, and we were trying to set up healthy sleep habits by getting her to um, you know, sleep longer periods of time, we would implement a dream feed. And I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the dream feed. If you're not, it's phenomenal. It works so well. So basically, in a dream pee, all you do is you scoop your child up while they're sleeping, and they might wake up a little bit, which is fine. Literally put them on the potty as fast as you can. This is a very fast process. Put them on the potty, let them go. Scarlet goes within seconds of sitting on the potty, and then put them back to bed. It's that fast, that easy. Don't turn any lights on. Keep it as dark as possible. You just get the deed done, put her back to bed. In the beginning of doing this, I was trying to actually wake her up and get her to like stand up and 
walk to the bathroom so she could learn to do it herself, but she was getting frustrated and mad at me, so um, I stopped doing that. Hopefully she catches on to this dream pee eventually, but that's what we're doing right now. It's definitely uh, work. It's not easy. It's not the easy route. Obviously the easy route would be to talk them into wearing a pull-up overnight, but if they're ready, you just have to run with it. Uh, otherwise, you will be holding them back. A couple people have given me some tips to help with overnights too. Um, the padded undies, which Scarlett won't wear. She thinks they're too much like a diaper, but that could help your child. And then also uh, layering up sheets. So putting on a mattress pad and then a sheet and then a mattress pad and then a sheet. So you can literally just rip off the sheet and the mattress pad if they have an accident overnight and then it's a really easy change. So that is something you could do too. To finish off this video, I'm gonna answer a few questions that you guys have asked me over on Instagram. I did put up a little poll in my Instagram story, so if you're not following me over there, go give me a follow. Um, I'll leave my handle right here, but I'm gonna answer a few questions that you guys have left me. So the first question is, how does she do with the potty out in public? Thankfully, we have had absolutely no issues. Um, the biggest issue we've had is a bathroom smelling bad or something, and she doesn't like the smell of it. But she's not scared of the automatic flushing, which I know a lot of kids can be, so keep that in mind. We have thankfully had a very tr easy transition to to going potty out in public. The next question asks, how did I get her to understand she needs to go potty before she actually goes potty? So I wish I had a magic answer to that, but I didn't do anything differently. That just comes with experience and time. So be patient, it will happen. Once they're ready, they will recognize those signs that they have to go potty and they will tell you. So your child just might not be quite there yet, but they will be, I assure you, so just give it some time. The next question asks, how did I encourage her to actually go pee on the potty? So a lot of times you just stick your child on the potty and they don't do anything. And that happened to us plenty of times. I personally think this goes back to modeling behavior in the bathroom and showing your child how to use the potty. Maybe you guys go potty together. We did that a lot of times. Maybe you put the potty in the bathroom and you sit on the a regular toilet and you both go potty together and you both wipe together and you both flush the toilet together something like that but modeling that behavior I think is really gonna help and it's also a consistency thing so just making sure you are super consistent with that the next question is do you still wipe for her and I have taught Scarlett that when she goes number two sometimes she needs mommy's help and that's what she says sometimes mommies have to help um, because she is stubborn and she wants to do it herself so we practice it together she wipes first and then I get the rest um, but when she goes number one she typically can do everything herself a lot of these questions you guys have asked me I think I've already covered throughout this video okay this is a great question if you asked her if she wants to go in the potty did she ever say no if so what did you do absolutely there were so many times um, that I would say Scarlett do you want to go sit on the potty and she would say no I want to wear a diaper and so we would let her do that we would allow her to do that that we would give her the, the freedom to make that choice and that's what we did. Like I said, eventually she changed her mind. She wanted to use the potty. At the time, it was extremely frustrating as a parent, but um, I gave her her space. I let her make her own decisions and it worked. Um, it definitely worked in the long run. So if they're not interested, they're not interested. Give it time. Like I said, give them the tools they need to be successful when it comes to potty training. Give them space, give them trust, um, give them encouragement. That is my best advice that I can give when it comes to potty training, specifically the child-led potty training method. Anyways, I hope this video brought you some insight to this method. I hope this video gave you some encouragement, um, maybe helped think of some new ideas to do with your family and your child. If you guys have any questions at all or comments, I would love to interact with you about this, uh, this topic um, and answer any questions you guys might have and share any advice that I have to give. I'm not an expert on any of this at all, but this is simply what we've been doing and what has worked for our family. But if you guys want to interact with me, you can go interact with me over on Instagram. I'll leave my handle right here. And then since my comments are disabled, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video over in my community tab over on my main YouTube page. So just go to my YouTube page, click the community tab at the very top of the page and you will see this video posted right there. If you are in the middle of potty training, just starting out, whatever, good luck, best of luck, hang in there, it will happen. We all potty train eventually. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.